Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us, Division Two Men. We have uh, lost a team. We've had one that quite was sitting in the wings. Quite surprisingly, we had one sitting in the wings who's ready to go this week. But five has become four. Let's have a look at Pakenham and Coburg. Winner goes on to play Western Port. Loser goes down to play. It's going to be Collingwood. It is. More on that in a moment. Pakenham 87 defeated Coburg 61. Josh Smith, 17 points, 9 assists. Benny Gaze had 16. Jordan Harding, 20 and 10 for Coburg. Packy get up by 26. Great crowd down there. They look very good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the oh, Pakenham I know boys. You are. I know you are. And I've been on them from day, day yeah. one. Um, in this game, it looked as though Coburg just had too many turnovers. Had 25 for the game. And um, Pakenham took advantage of the free throw line, making um, getting 21 points from there. So my Pakenham boys, they're rolling. We know that uh, Spreewell uh, caught the Big Bird uh, a number of weeks ago, Steve-O. Correct. Uh, up against Packy, 26 points uh, down. Can they bounce back this week? Oh, look, they can certainly bounce back They're going to get a home game. This week, but um, whether or not that sort of puts a big dent into their mm -hmm. championship aspirations, that's uh, still yet to be known, I guess. One good sign for Packenham, Josh Smith and Ben Gay is just uh, playing very well at the right end of the season. Yeah, certainly. I mean, if you can get your big players firing uh, towards the end of the season and into finals, it's always going to be a big help. And um, they certainly put that on full display against the Giants. I believe Josh Smith started training officially last week. So Yeah, he actually decided to show an interest in finals. <laughs> <laughs> Mornington 65 went down to Collingwood 68. This is the one we didn't see coming. Collingwood has absolutely belted Mornington to smithereens in the last quarter here. They yeah. flew home with a massive last quarter. Manny Hendricks had 15 of his 33 points in the last quarter, including a run of about uh, 70, 80 seconds where he dropped eight points. Yeah. Just yeah. turned the game around. He finished with 33.6 rebounds. Julian Brahini came off the bench for 15 and 12. Kieran Maguire had a handful of points as well. Matt Van Dykhuizen had 20 points, 5 assists for Mornington. Adam Ballinger had 15 and 15. Mornington's last month has not been one that they'll want to remember. They're out. They're gone. Collingwood in their first final series in the Big V win their first ever final. Well done to Collingwood. I may or may not have received a couple of messages just to let me know all about it. All-stars, well done. Yeah, a couple of things in this game. Uh, not Not... Well, entirely this game, but just remember, last in the last round, round 18, Mornington had a game, can't remember who it was against, but it was to basically uh, ensure that they'd be playing in that double chance game. Missed it. Missed out. Played in the elimination game and, and have then gone down in an upset. Um, last week we spoke about Manny Hendricks obviously needing a big game. He, we got that. But the most important part was someone stepping up around him. Julian Brahenny's 15 points and 12 rebounds, all the more important. Yep. Uh, Jeffo, uh, at Collingwood, last quarter. How was it? Yeah, well, obviously it was pretty good. Um, Flew home. To be able to come, like, Collingwood started the game, the first quarter score was Mornington up 25 to 10. Up by 15 at quarter time. And for Collingwood to be able to have the, um, I guess, the, the ability to come back from that, I mean, in, early in the finals game, to be down by 15 can be quite disheartening, but yep. to show that sort of um, will and desire to come back, Man, he just put it, put the team on his shoulders and said, "Follow me, boys." And the big last quarter. Um, what was the run last quarter? Twenty-seven to thirteen. Twenty-seven to thirteen. Eight points in the last two minutes for Manny, like you mentioned, yeah. unbelievable. Had, performance. had fifteen points in the last quarter. There you man. go. Yeah. Uh, so well done, Collingwood. Make it through. We love to see fairy tales like this. We wish them well this week. Speaking of this week, whoever wins this game, Steve-O. Grand. Final berth will be in, and will get home court advantage in the grand final. It's Western Port up against Pakenham. I think Western Port have have proven to be the best team in the competition, and that they rightfully earned that number one spot. I think they get home court in the grand final. How much do uh, Western Port win by? Six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah. Okay. So All right. Uh, fair enough. Around six um, to seven. Jeffo. Well, they split, split their series this year, um, pretty even. Um, I will. I'm going to stay with my Packenham boys. I reckon Gazy can um, slow down Ricky Dehan, 
And um, Aiden reckon, Davey. Aiden Davey, he'll be pretty handy too. And, and I reckon Josh Smith has just got going at the right end of the just season. Just started training last week. Yep. So I actually think Packenham will win, but in a very, very close one. Uh, if Packenham can open this game, I've said this about Western Port. Anyone that's been listening the last few weeks, Western Port are a crack unit in defence. They are very, very good, but they don't score heavily, Steve-O. If Packenham can open this game up, they'll win it. And I think they will open it up, Steve. I think Packenham will get the All points right. here. Well, actually, I shouldn't say the points because that's ridiculous. They'll get through to the grand final first. Can I say that? Yeah, um, you can. I think Packenham will open it up. Uh, the loser of that Western Port Packenham game will play the winner of Coburg and Collingwood. Who's going to win that game and why, Jeffo? Really good question. Um, they both split this series as well, but um, Collingwood won more recently in round 17. They won by six. Um, and that's when Harding and Maluma still, they both had good games in that. Um, Hendricks had 37 in that game. If Hendricks can get 37 <coughs> oh, no. again against Coburg, oh, no. Collingwood will win. But whether he'll do it or not is another question. Uh, Matt Hook Mohammed will be playing. Yeah, my boy. He'll go to uh, Jordan. I'd imagine he would. Mm. Um, hopefully he can stay out of foul trouble. Hopefully. Uh, Steve, who are you going for? Uh, look, it's the same deal as last week. Manny has to have 30, 35 plus, but it, it they have to rely on someone else stepping up around him, 15 to 20 points, and, and they can win this game. Um, if they put him performance like they did last week, they're winning this game. Yeah. I desperately want the All-Stars fairy tale to continue, Steve-O. Manny's uh, been a great acquisition down there. He's been playing in the league for a fair few years now. We love him. Um, I desperately want the All-Stars fairy tale to continue. I don't think it will, though. I think Coburg will have a little bit too much depth at home, and I think the Giants will get up and uh, use that double chance for the reason and the purposes of why it's there. I think Coburg get it. Anyway, it's a really good final series so far in D2. Men again, congratulations to the All-Stars, their first ever final and their first ever win in a final in their big V life. Uh, we wish them well this week against Coburg. Packenham take on Western Port. Whoever wins that game goes through and will take home court advantage in the grand final series. We'll be back to wrap it all up and look ahead in the finals for D2 men next week on Big V TV. 